Yo, hello, it's Revy here, and in today's video, I will be showing you guys how to make the shining ice effect. And if you guys want to support me, I have a website where you can buy packs from. Uh, feel free to check that out. Uh, but yeah, let's get right into this. And the first thing you're going to do is to choose a clip to use, and I'm using a clip uh, from Sofago's music video, Hell Yeah. And uh, yeah, so the first thing we're going to do is to make these uh, eye uh, shining effects. So we're going to press Ctrl Alt Y, boom. Here we're going to add a effect called optical flares. So it looks something like this. And we're going to change the blending mode to add. And we're going to go pretty deep into the settings here. The first thing we are, we're going to do is to drag down the brightness to zero, boom. And we are going to manually track uh, the eyes here. And I know uh, you can track uh, with the tracker here, uh, but uh, it didn't work on this clip. So I just thought uh, I could uh, track manually. It takes a little bit of time, but it's not that time consuming when you have a clip which is like two seconds long. So yeah, you press the clock here on position X, Y, and then you click this position thing here and then click on I boom and then you do this every single frame until the clip is has ended so yeah I will be right back so yeah now we're done with the first eye and then this right and then control D now we're going to do the left eye uh, and now we're going to fix the other settings here. So the brightness on the right eye, is gonna, right eye is going to be 70. And you can press the keyframe here as well at zero seconds. And the scale is going to be 30 here. And the rotation offset is going to be zero here as it already is. The color should be a light blue, something like that. And then animation evolution. Press the clock on that one as well. And yeah, now we can go to the end of our clip here. So, so yeah, go to the end and then here we're going to we can start off by changing the color to green or a lime green here and we're going to make the rotation offset 180 degrees here and the brightness should be 30 and now we're going to fix the scale here so whenever your character or person blinking you're going to scale it down so we can see here that Sophie Go is starting to like blink here so I'm going to make a keyframe here because he still has it open, his eyes open here. So I'm going to keyframe the scale here, boom, still have 30, go to the next frame, go down to 20. Next frame, barely has them open, 10. And the next frame, boom, zero. Looks a lot more realistic. And after that, we are going to change the animation evolution to 180 degrees as well something like that and now we are going to do almost the same settings on the on the left eye so what you can do is to copy all of these keyframes here and then we're going to adjust a little bit and then ctrl c and then we're going to go up here and then go to the beginning and then press ctrl v and the settings we're going to change a little bit we're going to move the uh, scale set uh, keyframes a little bit and we're also going to change the rotation offset and that one should be minus 100 and uh, yeah that should be good now we look something like this not the best tracking you can see on the eye but but it still makes the job done so yeah you can close these two down and now to make the eyes pop a little bit more uh, we are going to add a new adjustment layer so control alt y and here we're going to add a effect called the curves and you drag this below the eye glows and then we are going to make a marker here and then drag this maybe something like this looks good and then go to the beginning and then change the opacity here, keyframe the opacity here to 100% in the beginning and then zero in the ending. So yeah, it pops a little bit more in the beginning. Now we're going to select all of the layers here, boom, pre-compose it. And uh, 
here we are going to just do a fast panning crop here has a little bit more impact in the beginning we make a new adjustment layer boom add transform and then we're going to keyframe the rotation here boom and then go to one second keyframe it again here and we're going to change the beginning to be something like this minus 130 and we don't want to have these black edges here so we're going to add a effect called motion tile and you drag this above the transform uh, effect and then press mirror edges and go up to maybe 300 looks good i think so yeah and uh, now they disappear and you get a copy of uh, your clip on the edges now and i think it looks pretty pretty weird to have the copy there so um first off just going to make this a lot faster so you select both both of the keyframes press f9 open up the graph and then you drag this one up here so you make it go fast to make it more natural we're going to press the motion uh, motion blur icon here so it looks something like this now instead and we're also going to add rsmb to the normal layer here and then here 50 looks good this just makes the the eye glow a lot more uh, realistic and if you guys want to make this in vhs we are going to first just render the uh, this clip out uh, what we have here and then i'm going to yeah show you guys how to make it okay so now uh when you guys have rendered your clip here uh you are going to first press ctrl d on the layer boom and you can rename the first one to chroma and the second one to luma and you're going to, you're going to start off by pre-composing the luma one you can name this just luma as well and pre-compose the chroma one as well and if we start off we with chroma you're going to open this up and we're going to open up composition settings here and the settings we are going to be using are these here so width is going to be 40 height is going to be 480 and the uh, frame rate uh, doesn't really matter uh, now to be honest but 20 looks good uh, and yeah you press ok uh, select the layer press s and here uncheck this um, chain here and then we're going to have 2.8 percent here and then 45 percent here now we're done with the chroma thing here now we go back to the normal uh composition here and then here we are going to open up luma uh open up composition settings here and the settings we're going to be using for uh, luma is uh 320 pixels uh, width and uh, 480 pixels height and the frame rate uh, 20 again boom and here we're going to press s again uncheck this uh, type in 22.5 here and 45 percent here get something like this and then go back to the main comp here we're going to open up composition settings as well <laughs> and the set vhs settings we're going to use is width is going to be 640 and height is going to be 480 and you can change the frame rate to 20 here and then press ok boom and the chroma one press s here again uncheck the uh, this here set the percentage to 1600 percent and go down to luma press s and make the scale 200 percent and make the scale 200 percent only on the only make 200 percent on the horizontal here so yeah now we get something like this looks pretty weird now but when we change the chroma one to color we will have something like this looks pretty pretty cool and now to make this vhs uh, more realistic we're going to add the adjustment layer so control alt y boom and then here we're going to add an effect called fast box blur and the blur radius is going to be one and uh, that should be good and we're also going to add an effect called unsharp mask boom and the amount should be 100 and the radius should be four and we're also going to add uh, add grain and you can uh, select the uh, viewing mode to final output and in the intensity to 0.5 and uh, that should be good as well and then add a wave warp choose wave type smooth noise and then wave height is going to be free and the wave width is going to be 40 as it already is and wave speed 4 
and the direction should be horizontal so you change the 90 degrees to zero so yeah this is how it looks now it looks pretty pretty good in my opinion uh, and you can also add a new adjustment layer just for the finishing touch I like to add a vignette to this. Boom. And the settings I'm going to be using is just the default settings. So yeah, this is how you made the shining ice effect here. If you guys want to support me anyway, I have a store. Please check that out if you guys are interested. And uh, if you guys have any new ideas on tutorials I could make, please comment that down below. DM me on my socials. Uh, and yeah, like and subscribe. And I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.